Julian was so low power trying to make some change by doing street activism. Here we have a guy talking about the factory farm footage we were showing to his friends uh, completely by himself. So I decided to go up to him. They all live in a, uh, a closed uh, warehouse with no window. And they forced them from, it takes 29 days to go from the chick to the chicken. And that's end up on our plate. And that's end up on our plate. I'm about to give up chicken. It's just going to be hard. What's the hardest thing for you, you think? I don't know what I'm going to like the pork. But, so you could, there's vegan alternatives, vegan chicken, you know. So now you're going to kill more fish to make up for the chickens you don't want it. You're going to make up for it by eating more fish, you know, their fish are smaller, you know. I'm not going to eat more fish because I don't even buy that much. I'm probably eating more vegetables. But then somebody did tell me about that. I was like, I can't look at it until I'm ready to give it up. Yeah. But yeah. yeah, you told me they, uh, that's how the bird, that's how so many die from the bird flu. Let me give you, yeah, it's a big problem. But let me give you that vegan guide. You should go vegan so you stop abusing all animals, not just try. some. It's hard when you eat meat all day. Well, if you put yourself in their, their position, it's the easiest thing you'll do. I promise. I know, that's why I said, then they said they can't write. They it's can't all mindset. Because I hear the same thing from people that only think about themselves, and then I hear the opposite from people that can actually put themselves in their position. You know? When you can do that, it's the easiest thing you can do. That's sad. It is sad. Yes, it is. Just let the chickens... You shouldn't be the reason why that, that's happening, you know? So your money goes to those companies and it makes them want to do it more. Right. You should stop doing that. You're right. I'm working on it. Thank you for stopping. Have a good night. I feel like maybe I was uh, a little too defensive in the beginning, but at the end of the day, my focus was to make him accountable and make him understand what change needed to be made. What is that? Have you ever seen that before? What is it? Uh, baby chicks being grinded alive on their first day of life. Oh, come on. Why do would they do that? So that all egg factory farms do that. Do you eat eggs? Yeah, sometimes. Not all the time, but I have my whole life. Right. So when we pay for that, we're paying for them to do that to little baby chicks. I can't even believe that that's real. Yeah, that's I know. a real video? Yeah, it is. It happens every single freaking... Why would they do factory. that, though? I don't understand. I'll explain it to you. So if you're an egg factory farm, you're supposed to sell eggs, right? So only the females lay eggs, right? Yeah. So when a female lays eggs and the babies hatch, they have to see when the babies hatch, it's 50% male, 50% female when they hatch. So they need to separate all the males from the females. Oh, that way yeah, they can yeah. have the females yeah, yeah, yeah. so they can continue having eggs. I just eggs. can't believe that they really get away with doing that. Yeah. There's no regulation for that? No, brother. No. We pay for that to happen and they they just go by what we, what the dollar votes, you know, where the money's at. When we pay them to do that, they're like, okay, we'll do it. That, that's what it takes. You know? So if you're against what you're seeing, then you you have to be against it in your actions. Well, a lot of yeah, and uh, a friend of mine uh, that lives nearby me, he, he has like 15 chickens now. He's got the I get eggs from him now. That's where I get the eggs. But let's say and like he doesn't do that. Trust me. Right, right. But let's you know the problem with that is that let's say like you're eating those eggs, right? And let's say you go down to a supermarket store restaurant. Are you gonna stop eating eggs there? I mean, you're gonna be like any other place that provides eggs for you people that eat i don't eat them that much but i get eggs from my buddy like i say but again i just don't understand why there's not a lobby for them to have uh more regulation where they're not allowed to do that well at the end of the day I animals mean, get have... used and abused whenever we look at them as food you know whenever we only value them for a five minute meal when we have other options then they're going to be abused that's just the reality of it i don't think you could ever be stopped well, just because other people are doing something you, you don't know how it can stop doesn't mean that you should be a part of that. I agree you know? with that, too. All yeah. right, man, good luck. All right, have a good night. I gotta look at that. I think this conversation was pretty awesome because it was short and sweet, and the guy already was a little aware in the sense where he just wants to be more sustainable, I guess you could say where he has the option to maybe only eat his neighbor's chicken's eggs instead of, you know, factory farms. But my point was to get across that, you know, when he goes to a restaurant, when he goes anywhere else and he's buying eggs, he's paying for exactly what he just saw. 
so I hope I get the point across. I hope people understand that that's just what happens when you don't when you eat eggs from your local farms, you move into the city, and you continue paying for fa factory farm tortured chicken hens to be in those conditions and baby male chicks to be grounded up alive. So yeah, just uh, 